Welcome to the new Creekside 8 cabin on Creekside Loop here. This baby will be ready in the springtime, I suspect, at the rate they're going. We're just about finished with it. It is a typical dimension, 16 by 16, with roughly an 8 by 16 porch on it. Built to modern specifications uh, with uh, concrete footers down, I'm sure 42, 48 inches below. Uh, massive uh, 2 by 12 floor joists here. Almost overkill, but they do span 16 feet across. And uh, it also has thermal pane windows. And although it's being lined with pine, they don't have insulation in it because it will be a three season wood heated cabin. Sorry about the reflection. Perhaps you can see inside. They're just about complete with the inside. The outside looks good. Of course, it's going to need a coat of paint. Unlike the other cabins, these are built to code. Therefore, they have trusses, uh, two by six trusses here, with truss plates, and uh, oh, all modern construction techniques. They also have thermal pane windows, as mentioned, uh, which allow egress, or the average adult can pass through them in the event of a fire. Not only will this make it a much more tighter cabin uh, with a wood-burning stove in it, uh, but um, it'll make it a little safer there, like I say, in the event of a fire. Not that uh, that's the likelihood with uh, such a small space. But shingles are the same. They're architectural green shingles you find on the rest of those. But it also has, as a result of the truss construction, gable end construction here. In other words, it's a pointy roof on the end here as opposed to the hip construction, typical in all of these primitives here where it, uh, it bends back, if you will, so uh, to form a sort of a pyramidal peak, if you will, in the interior. So, no back windows on here, but the great thing about this cabin is it is facing the creek, Quaker Run Creek here, whereas its predecessor was, I think, maybe a little closer to the to the trail road, and um, they did the right thing this time. They painted, they pointed this baby right on Quaker Run Creek, as you can see, a little construction debris and stuff here, and that's gonna really make this cabin sought after. Don't know about pricing yet, but I can tell you that uh, probably be a little bit more pricey because of the pine lining and uh, much tighter and all. And uh, still got a great lot size here because that's number seven, one of my personal favorites here of not facing the creek. And then spin around here, this is number eight that's being built, and that's number nine, which is a double, or one and a half size cabin there. And all those cabins after that do face the creek. So, this is the new Creekside 8. Great news that they replaced one of these cabins here, one of the primitive cabins. Rumor has it they're going to do Gypsy 6 and maybe even bring, I believe, Ryan 8, which was previously condemned, back online as well. And uh, that's a project hopefully uh, the Friends of Allegheny will have a little bit of input in, bringing that back to life. Uh, Friends of Allegheny did six Macintosh primitives, put those back online for 2016, and they were rented all season long. So, again, some great news for the park here. Creekside number eight has been rebuilt. It's a beauty. Uh, features the same novelty siding as the rest of the cabins in the park. A little taller, as per code. Uh, and uh, this is good stuff. Anyways, uh, today is roughly January 12th. 2017. Look for that online. Hopefully I'll get the scoop here and uh, if I can get it rented here earlier in the season. And we we'll look forward to, to putting this back into the park circulation. So hope you t enjoyed today's video. You folks have a great Allegheny day. Take care.